Hi everybody, it's Gail the Happy Stamper. Thanks for joining me for an episode of Use It or Lose It. Today I'm featuring a stamp set that I've had for quite some time and really encourage you to break out stamps that you haven't used. Don't let them just sit there and go to waste. And I know we all have a bunch of those dollar stamps and all sorts of fall and Halloween things. So let me share, show you and share this card with you. I thought it was really cute, and I got this idea from Li52, it's L-I-H-52 on Split Coast Stampers, and I really, really liked it, so I thought, perfect. And I will show you now how we're going to put this together. It's very simple. We're starting with a piece of pumpkin pie cardstock from Stampin' Up. This is going to be a landscape card, which opens this way. Now for those of you that might be new to my channel or new to stamping, this is what's known as a landscape fold or a landscape card. If it's turned this way, we call it a portrait, like a portrait, a person's picture, and it opens that way. But today we're going to do this, which is going to be a landscape. So let's set that aside. I've got a piece of our Whisper White card stock that I have cut at two and a half by five and a half and I am going to stamp the three sets of little witches boots which I think are so cute I just love these little boots I'm trying to do this around a tripod so you guys know that's easier said than done actually I have to figure out some way for scrubby to hang my let me set this down here to hang my um, camera. Although I have to tell you, I hope this uploads because YouTube will say, you know, hours and hours and hours of it takes to upload a video. And then I'll go back to it two hours later and nothing. They'll say aborted, didn't work, try again. It's like, oh, it's so frustrating. All right, guys, so now I'm going back with the cute little hat, and I'm just putting this above the little boots. That's her little hat. So cute. Love it. And I am using my Stampin' Right markers, and I'm using Orchard Opulence, which is the purple, Green Galore, and then, of course, Pumpkin Pie. So... This just goes really quickly. I'm going to use the brush end and just color in my cute little stripes there. And then here, I'm just going to be a little bit careful because I left like a little opening. And then I'm just going to color her cute little socks. I just bought some cute little socks for my daughter for halloween -y. And she still wants to trick or treat, so that's fine with me. Then I'm going to use pumpkin pie, do the same thing, keeping it super easy. Okay, and then last but not least, green galore. And if Val is watching, my sweet little friend Val, I will do a video just as soon as I'm done with this, just like we talked about, girlfriend. So please be patient. It's been super duper crazy here at my house. Okay, I'm going to go back to my pumpkin pie card and my ink pad. And I am using the word spooky. And I'm going to just stamp this first so it'll make it easier for me to line up my image. And I'm just going to put this down here, like so, because it's very spooky. I love Halloween. I really do. Fun times. All right. Then I broke out my Martha Stewart punch. Yes, I know this is not a stamping up punch, but I... Um, have this and I want to use it so I'm gonna use it dang it all 
So I broke this out and with some of our black cardstock, I just went ahead and made two strips of the spooky spider web. Isn't that pretty? Really lacy. So then I'm going to go back to my card here and you can see I did this um, by mistake. So we're all making good use of what we have and not wasting anything. And I'm lining this up along the bottom and I'm using my special scissors that I only use for paper. And I'm going to do the same thing on top. And I'm lining this up and attaching it right along this little thin line here. It's not very hard, you guys. Okay. And I'm going to cut it like that. And I'll, I'll make it a little more perfect in just a minute. And then, see, by putting the word down first, you can kind of adjust it where you need to. Um you know, to make the word as easily readable as possible. So I am just going to go wonky donk here, folks, and not worry about where I'm putting this because I can always use my little adhesive square if I feel I need to get it out from in between some of these little dots or little openings, rather. So I am going to line this up along that side like so. And again, I can go back and clean out the little um, openings if I feel I need to with my little adhesive square. But first I'm just going to trim this up along the side. Make it so it's nice and clean. Seamless. So fun. So there you have it guys. That's my card for you today for my Use It or Lose It series. Very easy, lots of fun, lots of good holiday holiday spirit, I'll say. But I think that's more or less what you say for uh, Christmas. <laughs> and that'll be here too. I'm super excited for that. But again, that's using our pumpkin pie cardstock and my Stampin' Write markers, Green Galore, Orchard Opulence, and Pumpkin Pie, and of course, the super adorable, wicked cool set. So thanks for visiting with me today. I appreciate you taking the time. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment. You know, I will get back to you. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. All right, guys, take care. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.